All right, we are on day 12 of Punishment Golf. This one brings us to the majestic Gower Ranch Golf and Lake Club. And uh, I came into this feeling good. We got new workouts for the punishments. And this is a good sign when you want to hit a low fade into the dog leg, right? And you execute it to perfection. It's a good sign. But let's talk about Gower Ranch real quick. Uh, not sure where this course is, but I really liked it. I thought it had a lot going for it. I left this first shot out to the right, although the distance was perfect. Sign of a quality ball striker. Yikes. Flutter kicks are brutal. Missed green. Push-ups. Could get a little deeper on those, I think. Good little sand save there for a par. And uh, I believe with like the latest beta update, you get this kind of blur, speed blur between the holes, which I think actually looks really good. Um, so kudos. Another good stats drive that just stays in the fairway. Your layup iron shots. Watch the little pink circle on the mini map where I was aiming. Boom! Lands in the direct center of it. And now 83 trying to do that again. Absolutely. I think I killed this one. Yep. Lucky I didn't go too far and into the water. But we go back to back bogeys. And this is a par 5, so. We're going to have to make a pretty good shot now just to save par. Oh, that was pretty lucky. A little hit off the knuckle and in. Par on the card. Beautiful lake out there, Gower Lake. We're assuming, or Gower Ranch or something. Uh... Brightened up the lighting a little bit. It was looking a little dark in the sim space. Another one that's good distance, just like way out right. Almost got a good kick there, but going to be chipping again. And going to be doing some more punishment push-ups for missing the green. Kind of a weird scully thing that is going to screw me over and get me a bogey. Deservedly so with that chip. That's pretty bad. Coming up on a 252 uphill. And uh, the fun part about Gower is there's a few drivable par 4s like this one. Even for schmucks like me who can't drive it. Caught that one a little toey, but this is going to end up pretty good. Rolls into the big two-putt circle, and from there, that's a two-putt birdie. We'll take a driving the green any day. And we head over to the next hole, which is the fifth. A par 4, 406. So you go from a 256-yard par 4 to a 406-yard par 4. Um, really good mix here at this course. Water and out-of-bounds left, favoring the right. And now doing squats as my fairway missed punishment. 169 remaining. Another hole high to the right. So if we make an adjustment here, we're going to be okay. But that's going to be an easy par. And we'll head over to the sixth hole. Dog leg right, par four. Another 400 yarder. So it doesn't quite have the distance to take on that line. But if I went farther, this tree would be in the way. So it ends up being okay. Going to go right through this little tree window. Try and hit it 140. 
Oh man, two inches outside the birdie circle. Another good shot though. That one's staying on line. We'll head over to the seventh par three, about 160. Playing a draw into that front left location. Just catching a little too good of it, but these are greens and regulations all day. Eighth hole, another par five. 521, pretty long one. Just nuked that one down the hill, landed 270. Kind of obstructed by this tree view. Gonna kick it out to the left anyway. Oh no. Oh, thank God. I'm glad that didn't go in the bunker. We're in the fairway 272 away. Probably not going to get there. So that's going to be a missed green. I, I think I forget to take a penalty on one of these, but that should be a missed green penalty being the third shot. Oh, no, there we go. And then 41 away. Tough angle. I'm leaving myself with the worst angles into these pin locations. That's exactly where I wanted to bounce it, though. Right in the front par on the card moving on to the ninth hole par four still even on the day good patience there took not aggressive enough of a line that's gonna just stay in the fairway though and keep me out of trouble one four two hit one of these earlier Playing a flighted draw, which is a shot I didn't really think I had, but that's kind of what the hole called for. And it ended up being a good shot, a par on the card. There's kind of that speed, speed blur I was talking about. Could just be this uh, course now that I think about it. I'll check the others as I edit today. Not the best ball speed I've ever seen, but uh, all the other stats were good. Just probably didn't catch it good on the face. Yikes. Three wood gone awry. Oh, I got saved by that tree. That was going maybe out of bounds. Ooh, man, I get set up pretty good. 80 away. The deep rough just kind of ate me alive. It gets up there, though, and that's actually a par. So, staving off disaster there. 11th hole is a par 4, 4, 10, low downhill, a little to the left. Closing that one just a little too much. That's not really the side you want to be on. And I'm getting tired of doing these squats for the missed fairways. I've been able to play a draw all day, so let's see we can do it again nope close the face early and head it actually was drawing 15 degrees into out with 1300 spin to the left so just the it launched directly straight instead of turning oof this one as well no spin to the left misses the green should have done a miss green penalty let's see if I honor that And a bogey penalty. Bogey penalty. And we skipped one. We're going for the green again on 12. And it just takes off like a rocket ship. I needed every inch of that. And it rolls off. Not mad about that. It was a really good strike right on target. And it set me up for a 14-yard chip. Hopefully for a birdie. Yes, done. Back to even par. Back to the 13th. A par 4, 400 yards. Little dog leg left. Oh, 
with everything going left I just wanted to aim right and I still can't get it over there it's weird we've had some drives like right down the middle and then some very strange hooded swings so just need to calm the hands down a little bit Ooh, really didn't like that one either that's a missed green and we're still 110 away that's a bad hole make something of it here 13th 110 trying to get something close and not so much a little chunky mess leaving 12 away oh could have gone in that would have been nice another bogey on the card plus one on the day heading to the 14th a 143 yard par three over the water this has been kind of a nemesis um, during these workout videos I've really struggled to click the irons uh, when it matters going over water or whatever this one perfectly judged right in the center of the green behind the hole perfect par 15th another par 4 three, five, eight. dog leg right some bunkers out there guarding just about everything there's a strange angle to hit from gonna do a penalty there but 113 and almost an accessible pin location for the first time this one just drawing a little too much but able to throw the club head through on that draw path and get some good shots this round 16th upcoming par 5 just cranking it down the hill looks like you can take on as much as you want here Ooh, I caught it really spinny kick right oh that's a crappy rough just a little patch of rough in the fairway it's a par 5 though and we only have 166 remaining a little bit uphill I hit the 6 iron but I didn't want to pull it left dang it Missing out on an easy birdie and getting a three putt penalty. Not ideal. 17 upcoming. 158. Oh, the three putt penalty. Nope. Bad swing again. Uh oh, let's not fall apart here, David. Bunker and Miss Green here on 17 and then got to come up and hit a 17 yard bunker shot up the hill and get it to stop No problem there One more hole something to watch on the 18th is the if I hit the fairway Then all I gotta do is like hit the green and I'm done and I think about it every time and I end up doing like two or three more workouts because I totally suck. Uh, and I'll put that pressure on myself and just not rise to the occasion. Here's another chance at it. 170. Just one good six iron and I'm done. Nope. Bunker. Oh no, I didn't get bunker. Miss green though. And then hopefully we don't get a bogey. 25 to save par and the round at plus two it looks like it does stop we do get the par 73 a plus one on the day the white tees were 62 50 gozer ranch I kept saying Gower gozer ranch golf and lake club was super fun Make sure to run over and try it and stay tuned for the next episode of Punishment Golf coming soon. Peace. Mm -hmm.